Hi guys, my name is Nicky Croucher and I'm today going to tell you all about the issue that we got with VMware and a version of Windows. So I'm running VMware version 15.5.2 uh, and there seems to be a really strange issue with my Windows 10 box. You can see here like it flickers and it's all a bit transparent so you can see the flickering that's going on right. Um, so and it's really hard to like even get to the shutdown or the settings are overlapping and you know it's a little bit unresponsive and it just looks like there's a, an issue with the graphics now I looked at it from a Windows point of view and with the Windows point of view I can't really see any settings that would change it every time I try to go to somewhere like the settings tab it just seems a little bit um, it locks up a little bit and the graphics is just all over the place However, there is a fix and this is the fix. Okay, so what we need to do first is we're going to shut down the virtual machine and then we need to make a quick config change and hopefully we can bring it back up because right now it's not really usable. The version of Windows I've got here is uh, version 2004 um, and VMware 15.5. So I think this happened after this kind of update. Um, anyway, I'm going to shut this VDI down now and then we are going to I have to do it this way because I can't actually get to the start menu to do it properly it just doesn't allow me to click or it overlaps so I'll do that I'll just shut this machine down I'll make a change to the config file and then um, we'll test again to see if it works okay so I'm here on my virtual machine we need to go check the location so I'm just going to edit the machine settings really quickly and we'll find out where those hard drives are. Okay, so it's in our T virtual machines location there. All right, so let's just jump over to the um, Winter Explorer and we'll have a look at the config file. Okay, guys, so I'm in my virtual machine area here and we need to edit the, M the VMX file. Okay, so I'm just going to edit that there in Notepad++. Right, okay, so these are some of the configurations. Now, we'll hopefully see the issue resolved. What we're trying to look for is this key here. So, uh, if we go to mks-enable3d, which is here, and we just change that to false. So, we're changing that to false, and then we just save the config file. Now, actually, before I continue, it's always advisable to take a quick backup of the, the copy so I'm going to just copy that and I'll um, I'll paste it into a, a new folder so if I just create a folder here called backup and uh, just for the sake of it I'm going to paste that in there and I've got my original config file in case it breaks okay so we've done the little bit of backup I'm going to click here do save now we've saved the configuration let's close this down and then we're going to uh, click apply okay Let's start up the machine and see whether this fix takes place. Starting the machine. Okay, so now I've logged into the virtual machine. We go check the start menu. And now it's back to how it's supposed to look like. So the transparency is gone. I can get to my shutdown button and I can hit restart on it now. So that's absolutely great. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. There'll be lots more technical videos coming your way. Until next time.